Good morning, gardening friends. This is Travis from Louisville, Zone 6B. Happy Easter to everybody. It's early in the morning here. And in this video, I thought I would do a early April walkabout of the gardens. Spireas are starting to fill out. Trimmed up the roses. They look nice and bushy. Lamb's ear, as always, is looking great. Those were the tulips I planted last fall. And it would look much better if I planted up this planter too to match it but I couldn't find any more tulips and especially this variety right here <clears throat> purple and white and like a light yellow so everybody was buying up bulbs last fall um, let me see the sun might be too much of a glare but you can see the ajuga is starting to bloom see how nicely besides this nice grass in here but you can see how quickly it spreads this was just put in here last summer and there's Edgar they have been loving the nepeta the catmint It makes them crazy. The limelight hydrangeas are starting to leaf out. Hoping these guys stay short this year. They were just way too big last year. And as always, there's always spring weeding to do. My biggest problem up here in the front, as you can see, See, no matter how much mulch I put down this onion grass completely takes over I'm gonna try to keep my shadow out of here but again I'm it's early morning and the Sun is bright all right so an update on the mess so if you've been following me this year so far or for any length of time you remember that there was a whole uh, wall I guess you could say of trees and brush and all this stuff right here let me just show you that'd be a lot easier than trying to explain it so all of this has been cut down that was growing up in between our yards here. So this is the progress so far. I'll be uh, ordering another dumpster, probably the 40 yard this week. And that's what I'll, how I'll be getting rid of it. And then of course I'll probably have to call in the professionals to pull out the stumps. Sorry for the background noise. <clears throat> so, the goal is to pull all this out, clean all this out of there, and put nice landscaping in. Some nice flowering shrubs, perennials, probably some grasses. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but it will look a lot better than that. Kind of walk around here and show you everything that I've cut down. So right here we have a very mature old um, pink dogwood tree, but the buds look very weird on it this spring. 
And I don't know if it's because we had that frost the other night. But hopefully it does okay. I don't know. But usually that's a very pretty pink dogwood. So all of this is coming out and getting cleaned up. And it's going to be a lot prettier than how it looks now. So that's the big project this season. I'm going to have a lot more sun over here now. This used to be really shaded with the dogwood and all that brush. But that just means I can plant more stuff over here. I probably sound really nasally. <laughs> I've been battling uh, allergies really bad this spring. So you're probably thinking, God, I wish he'd shut up and just film. Spirey is looking good with that uh, burgundy, barberry. Hopefully you guys can see that good. So still not a whole lot going on. I went and got some few bags of dirt to fill in the raised beds in the back yesterday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me just show you some tulips that have come back and bloomed. There's my shadow. This was the Pottager garden last year. This is an ever-changing little space right here. I don't know this year if I'm going to put vegetables or just make it a flower bed. Also thought about putting some um, picket fence around it. And just making it a little sitting area. Maybe put a fountain in here. Who knows? You can also see that I've started to paint the barn. I call it a barn, but it's really a garage. But we're going white with it. Hopefully I can get a new door on it this year. So projects 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 this year still saving up to get that great big maple out of here hopefully I can get it out of here this year there is the winter sewing with the milk jugs and I'll do that at the end of the video I'm gonna give you guys an update on my seedlings on the coleus and we'll take a look at um, our milk jugs. Kind of an eyesore over here. Gotta get that cleaned up. New garden art I got from TJ Maxx Home Goods. Blown glass piece of art. This is where all the daylilies are and aster and loose stripe here in the front, but I'm trying to get rid of that there. Some iris.
this is actually goes on a kind of like a wooden cake stand type thing for the kitchen but I decided to put it out here in the garden and use it as a uh, cloche there is chip so I'm kind of protecting this sedum here this variegated sedum Lots of weeds in here that I need to get a hold of. Really need to clean this bed out. This little, looks like peony. Doesn't look like it's doing too good. Hopefully that frost didn't hurt too much in here. You can see the smoke bush purple smoke bush is just beginning to leaf out so it looks like it's going to be a weeding day for me and working on the raised beds Lucy's back there covered in leaves So rows that I'm trying to whoops grow along the side of the garage here it's a dark red climbing rose I think it's a climbing rose it looks like it anyway but I think that dark red will look good once the garage is white more daffodils Let's walk over here and see how the daffodils I planted last fall. These are the white and coral color. I think they're getting ready to bloom. I was starting to worry for a minute. So those will be that um, pinkish apricot, coral, white, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> daffodils, and then he, these are the yellow. Of course we have the ring of uh, why can't I think of it? Iris, Siberian Iris. Did they just kind of flow through here? So that will be blue. Hopefully I get good blooms this year. That's Lucy for you. <laughs> Another patch of lambs here. I don't want to repeat too much in the videos. I know I talked about a few things, a few of the same things last video. There's more of this, I guess it's a ground cover, maybe a, gr a climber. And I forget the name of it, but it's got nice purple blooms on it. My Jack of Diamonds, um, What is that called? Jack of Diamonds Brunnera. You can see it's got some, I don't know if the dogs may have peed on it, but, or if that was from their frost maybe, but it should be okay. But this will get those pretty airy blue blooms. This camera does not want to stay in focus today.
Um, Columbine. <laughs> Blue Columbine coming up in here, and you can see some of the hostas. This is the hosta garden here. You can see they're starting to come up. Hopefully this video isn't too boring. <laughs> Not too much going on right now. But here is one of my projects today. I'm gonna clean these up a little bit more. The raised garden beds. I have a few perennials that I need to get out of here. And then I'll put fresh um, soil down. I plan on putting a little picket fence around this area. You know me, I like picket fence. I like chipped paint and rusty things. That's my theme, my style. Cottagey Rustic Garden. Blue bottles from the Goodwill. I just use them for garden art. I've been putting cardboard back here to choke out the weeds. And uh, I'm going to lay some mulch down, but... Hopefully, those weeds don't take over this year. Mullen. This one made it, but the one up there, I don't think, in the first garden, I don't think made it. Got some cleaning up to do in this bed. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do now is give you a little update on the seeds we started back in February and an update on the winter sowing method. Alright, sorry friends, but um, I'm going to do the seedling update on uh, our new video because this one, I don't want this one to get too long and um, I want to make sure I have plenty of um, storage and time on my camera to be able to go over all the seedlings. So I thought I would just real quick show you some of the Easter decor since it's Easter. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.